Okay, so on the dashboard, like I've said before, there's some very important information and this bit here is also important, but I would strongly suggest you leave it as disabled uh, until you actually build your web page. So once you have actually put some items that you're selling onto your online store, you would come here and basically you would enable this right there okay so let's quickly go through some of the options uh, here like I've said before you can actually choose which stores you're viewing you can actually click on this little button here and it will provide you some more configuration information and configuration scope which you can go through and basically you can read there's quite a lot here to read and there's a good information here to find out a bit more about Magento and how you would go about setting up some of the stuff also you can scroll and actually change the pages the pages so then you'll come to the single store mode or you can actually view the industry compliances you can actually go into PCI compliances guide pri privacy policy cookie law compliances and a lot of other different information and it's good to actually if you do have time to actually go through this to actually get the real understanding of um, Magento and how you would actually go about using it and always this is always a good referral point to go back to if you're stuck somewhere and you're not sure how to do this is basically the Magento user guide and you can come here and find that information that you're looking for and also there's the big search bar here you can type in whatever you're looking for and then hit on search and that will provide you some more information and basically you can use that as you actually build your web page okay as for the dashboard once again we have the big search button here we have the notification section and we have the account so if I do go into my account settings I will be presented with account information as the name suggests so my username will be shown there I've changed it to Alex uh, my first name will be shown there my last name will be shown there my email I can change my password here I can change the actual language and I can actually verify my email okay I can also use this reset button to reset all of this information okay let's go back to the dashboard once again let's go to this drop down menu here and the last option there is actually sign out the dashboard is basically dominated by those two fields so the information on the left hand side and the information on the right hand side some of the information is pretty much the same but it gives a bit more details so on the right hand side we have the total revenue we have the total tax the shipment and the quantity there we then have the best sellers so what's selling the best we have the most viewed products so which products are being viewed the most we have the tab which actually says new, new customers and we have the tab which actually says customers as well down below in the right bottom right corner we have the version that we are running so we are running Magento 2.0.10 we can report some bugs if we do find them to Magento and they'll actually take care of that and try to actually fix those bugs and pretty much this is all that's available on the dashboard itself now once you actually have your online store and you actually have the people visiting the, your online store people registering and becoming your customers all of this will change and the numbers will change as you actually start to make some sales but at the moment I have a something they like to call a vanilla so very plain website there's nothing in my store I have no items for selling and I have no customers and therefore all this is just as default values of zeros and there are not any any records so dashboard is something that you're going to to visit quite often and like I've said there's not a lot you can do here but there's a lot that you can get from this particular page a lot of information which you can after that use to actually adjust your your online store